Hi guys, the worst rated video I've ever made was the one about the canvas tuner from Walrus Audio. I got 47% dislikes, which to me means 47% of my viewers don't know what's really going on. So we have to talk about the digital noise topic again, but in more detail. As a quick summary of that video, I have complained about digital noise when the tuner is connected via daisy chain. I am totally aware that most of you know the general rule to use an isolated power supply for digital pedals to avoid digital noise and I absolutely do not disagree with that. That's also the reason why I have a pedal train spark power supply on that pedal board. And that's also the reason why I have a one spot from True Tone on that pedal board. And that's also the reason why I have a Jox DC7 under my studio desk for testing. And that's also the reason why I have a T-Rex fuel tank as spare. But why do we have to use power supplies with isolated outputs for digital pedals? Have you ever heard anyone explain why? In conjunction with guitar pedals we know different kind of noises. These can be caused by improper grounding, ground loops, poor filtering of the used power supply, electromagnetic interferences and of course digital noise. Well, that's really a lot and to learn what digital noise is, let's listen to some of my digital pedals. For demonstration I am using an analog distortion pedal together with a digital pedal. I am using a distortion because it has a higher output level, which means any noise is better to hear. And to be absolutely sure that we don't get any noise from the power supply, we use this 9 volt battery block. That's the most cleanest DC you can get. So both pedals are connected via this daisy chain cable to the battery. Let's start with the OD200 from BOSS. It's a digital overdrive. So let's check it out. What we hear is the normal hiss, there's no digital noise. Next we have a spark echo, a digital delay. There's a little digital noise, I would say. Next we have the Quintessence from TC Electronics. It's a harmonizer. No digital noise. Next we have the flashback, it's a digital delay from TC Electronics. I would say no digital noise, only regular hiss. Next we have the Polytune 2 from TC Electronics. It's a tuner. No digital noise, only regular hiss. Next we have a looper from TC Electronics, the Ditto Plus.
no digital noise. Next we have a very popular pedal, it's the Tone X1 from IK Multimedia. Here we can clearly hear digital noise. Now we have the canvas tuner from Walrus Audio. Hmm, nothing new, you can clearly hear digital noise. And the last digital pedal is the IR loader from TC Electronics. Again, that's regular hiss, no digital noise. As you could hear, only a few pedals have a digital noise issue. The main causes of digital noise associated with digital guitar pedals lie in the way digital circuits process signals and how they interact with the power supply. Digital pedals rely on microcontrollers, TSP chips and clock oscillators to process audio. These components generate high frequency signals that can leak into the audio circuitry or the power cable. Analog pedals always require a pretty clean DC power. If the power isn't filtered enough, an analog pedal cannot work properly. Almost all pedals have one or more internal mini operational amplifiers called OP amp. These react to frequencies on the power and as a result these frequencies will be amplified too. And this leads to digital noise in the audio signal. As we already heard, not all digital pedals have an issue. To make visible what's going on, let's connect my oscilloscope to the power connector with a little adapter. In this test scenario, I scan for audible frequencies between 0 and 20 kHz. Let's start with the Tone X1 pedal. As you can see, there is a hotspot at 2.8 kHz and some minor spots at higher frequencies. Next, let's check the canvas tuner. Again, multiple spots but at lower frequencies. Now let's do the same test with an analog pedal. That's how it should be, flat like a pancake, no noise bleeds into the power. In the next test we don't connect the audio cable to the digital pedal, only the overdrive is in the signal pass and only the power source is shared via a daisy chain cable. As you can hear, the digital noise of the canvas tuner bleeds over the power connector into the overdrive pedal. Let's now connect the Tone X1 pedal. sounds different, but it's the same issue. These pedals do not keep their digital noise away from the power. Even if there is an internal filter, it does not work very well. In the video about the canvas tuner, I mentioned that this is not the quality I would expect from a device, which is advertised as the best tuner on the market, especially the fact that the noise also occurs in mute and bypass mode is pretty annoying. But now we all understand why this is the case. The DC power is polluted with unwanted frequencies. So what can we do now to get rid of the digital noise? The most common solution is to use a power supply with isolated outputs. Care must be taken to ensure that the power supply provides sufficient current and has enough outputs. If you have to use a daisy chain because all outputs are already in use or you want to use a battery for your pedal board, you have to isolate the noisy pedal from the power. But how can this be achieved? 
Here are two products which are able to do this. It's the ZGP from Choyo and the Dadario XPND noise filter. Simply put it in front of your noisy digital pedal so that the pedal is no longer directly connected to the daisy chain power. Even if I don't know what's inside these black boxes, it's very likely that they have an internal mini transformer to isolate the input from the output. Even the ground is isolated, that's very important to keep the ground clean from unwanted frequencies. Let's now check how good they work for the Tone X and the Canvas Tuner. First, let's put the Dardario noise filter in front of the Canvas Tuner. No more noise, that's great. Next, let's do the same with the Choyo noise blocker. Works great too. However, there's one thing I've noticed. When the patch cable is removed from the pedal, some noise comes back. It's not that loud, but still hearable. This does not happen with the Dadario noise filter. I don't know if it matters in real life, but it looks like the Dadario is more reliable. Let's now do the same test with the Tone X1 pedal. And by the way, I don't know if the regular Tone X pedal creates digital noise. If so, please comment below. Again, works great with the Dadario noise filter. The Choyo power noise blocker also works fine. However, same issue as it was with the canvas tuner. If the patch cable is removed, some of the noise is coming back. The Choyo noise blocker is around 10 bucks, that's okay. The Dadario is around 40 bucks. In my opinion, that's way too much and Dadario should oversink pricing. And by the way, Walrus Audio now also offers power supplies with up to 22 isolated outputs. That's a lot. So at least they found a solution for their products if you are connected to the mains. However, for battery powered pedal boards, you have to take care with third party products like this or like this. or with this secret product, which will be revealed in the upcoming video. But why is it still a good idea to use a power supply with isolated outputs? As I've already told in the beginning, noise can have many different reasons. Improper grounding, ground loops, poor filtering, electromagnetic interference and digital noise. A good power supply can help to reduce noise to its minimum. However, to eliminate digital noise, it's only a workaround. The real cause lies in the design of the digital circuit. I would really appreciate if pedal board users would take care better about digital noise. In a complex setup with many components, each single device has to avoid as much noise as possible. The entire signal chain is only as good as the worst device. And as community, it's our job to let producers know if something isn't good enough. And as I mentioned in my last video about the canvas tuner, things don't get better if we accept things we don't like. Even the biggest fanboy should understand that this has nothing to do with bashing certain companies. It's simply all about facts. I hope I could help to understand things better and what to do if you have a digital noise issue. In a guitar rig setup, there is so much that can go wrong and to avoid any additional issues, what we need are great products in high quality. But for some reason, some of you really seem to think we can fly to Mars, but we are not able 
to build guitar pedals that keep unwanted frequencies away from the DC power. Hm. Well, that's pretty unlikely, isn't it?